it's a good print. It's hard to say 0.4% quarter over quarter is great, but it's uh, not as bad as people probably were worrying in January when it was looking like uh, Germany may even fall into a recession. I think we're probably past those concerns. We talked about manufacturing numbers in China, which have been uh, weak. Germany's been much weaker than China even. but. We're actually taking a contrarian play in buying some of the industrial companies in Europe. Uh, we don't think the economy is in as dire a situation as probably the consensus is. We don't think there's going to be much growth. But uh, you're picking up companies at 15 to 17 times earnings that give you a 3% dividend yield. They've actually got positive earnings revisions just because earnings estimates got so pessimistic in January and February this year. We think all of those things can push European markets higher. Are there places within industrials? Industrials is a very large kind of swath of a category. Is it, is it places yes. in, in, in certain parts of the economy? Is it auto manufacturers? Is it certain places you know, within just the overall picture of Europe? I mean, where exactly is that value at this stage? So we like a Geberit, a Swiss company that, and that's a play on German residential, basically. We think German unemployment's very good. The German economy is not doing great, but actually consumption numbers, savings numbers, all of those things, there's definitely scope for uh, household renovations and further household improvements, and Geberit will be a big beneficiary of that. We think Airbus is very well positioned, especially when you consider some of the problems Boeing is having right now. They've had earnings out today. Um, overall, the company is doing very well, apart from uh, some issues with Saudi Arabia that they've had uh, contracts have to be cancelled there. Um, Schneider Electric and uh, Siemens. So actually, we've got a, a very diversified exposure towards industrials. We think in aggregate they're just too cheap. We don't think the economic situation is quite as bad as the general consensus view is. Can we take it to the U.S. markets here? Because we do have a busy week of earnings, the busiest week of earnings season for the S&P 500. As things are shaping up now, does it seem like the U.S. is still the best place for capital to flow to from the global standpoint? I don't think so. Um, if you look at the U.S., it's very expensive on every measure except for earnings. Earnings are looking about fair value, but on EV to EBITDA, price to book value, um, price to sales, it's at 95th to 96th percentile on all those measures I just mentioned. Uh, versus its 20-year history. So U.S. is expensive. It's uh, got the economy that's delivering the best. Companies are beating expectations, but in uh, December 31st, the consensus was 9 to 10 percent growth for the S&P 500. Now we're looking at no growth for Q1. So the companies are beating a very low bar. We think that's actually reasonably encouraging, but uh, we wouldn't be allocating new money into the U.S. right now after it's performed very well and shedding at lofty multiples.